kids church in the arms of Jesus kids church walking with the Lord kids church learning learn all about Jesus a kids church kids church kids church in the arms of Jesus kids church walking with the Lord kids church growing closer to Jesus a kids church Kids Church Kids Church Oh, oh, hello everybody. How are you? It's great to see you. Uh, welcome back to Kids Church, where it's all about Jesus and us. Um, it's, it's wonderful that you're here again. Thank you so much. I hope you're here with your family and your friends, and that you're sharing this program and, and sharing Jesus with everyone that you know and love. Uh, thanks for coming. Um, today, we're going to have a reading of the Bible, which is God's Word to us, and then we'll follow that with some music, some fun music that's about the reading, and then we'll follow that with a lesson. The lesson is from Mr. Fred. And Mr. Fred is going to tell us about a little seed. I mean a teeny, tiny, itsy, bitsy, little, little seed, and how that's really important to us. It's very important as we grow up to think about that little seed and what it is. So we're going to find out what that's all about. And then we'll have a little bit more music. And then, yeah, I guess we'll have a little bit of Pierre today. And then, uh, and then we'll see you next week. But once again, I just want to say thank you for coming. It's so good that you're here. It makes us very happy. And I hope that you're very happy to be here. We'll see you again next week. So until then, take care and, and God's blessings to you. Take care. Bye-bye. Historian. A reading from the book of Mark. And he said, The kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed on the ground. He sleeps and rises night and day, and the seed sprouts and grows. He knows not how. The earth produces by itself first the blade, then the ear, and then the full grain in the ear. But when the grain is ripe, at once he puts in the sickle, because the harvest has come. And he said, With what can we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable shall we use for it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which when sown on the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. Yet when it is sown, it grows up and becomes larger than all the garden plants and puts out large branches, so that the birds of the air can make nests in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to hear it. He did not speak to them without a parable, but privately to his own disciples, he explained everything. This is the word of the Lord. And now music. Mustard seed, mustard seed, little you are, but what you'll be. Mustard seed, mustard seed, strong in faith, how great you'll be. so tall, shelter and comfort those in need. You'll put out your arms, give God the glory of oh, the wonders for those who believe. Mustard seed, mustard seed, little you start, 
But what you'll be Mustard seed, mustard seed Filled by faith, grow your roots so deep Mustard seed, mustard seed Of the kingdom of God, joyfully Mustard seed, mustard seed By faith how strong you'll grow to be One day you will stand up so tall Shelter and comfort those in need You'll put out your arms Give God the glory of the wonders For those who believe Mustard seed, mustard seed Little you start of what you'll be Mustard seed, mustard seed Growing up so Miraculously going to the park. Have you gone to a park near your house where they have a playground with swings and a sliding board? Or maybe you have gone to a state park with a lake where you can go swimming or on a canoe ride. Or maybe you have been lucky enough to go to one of the big national parks like Yellowstone National Park or the Grand Canyon. Hi kids, I'm Mr. Fred. And I did go to a national park a few years ago with my wife and kids called Yosemite National Park, all the way out in California. And one of the really cool things we saw in that park was the giant sequoia trees. These trees are the biggest trees in the world. They grow to be over 300 feet high. That's more than a whole football field from one end to the other. They can live to be 3,000 years old, and they can weigh almost 3 million pounds. But here's the funny thing. You can go to the gift shop at Yosemite National Park and buy a little sequoia tree about two inches high, just like this. Take it home and plant it in your own backyard. Maybe it will grow to be 300 feet high. It might take a thousand years or so to do it, but it might happen. Now, in today's reading, Jesus told two stories we call parables about seeds and plants that grow from seeds. In the first story, Jesus compares the kingdom of God to a farmer throwing seed onto the ground, and then it somehow grows into a full big plant with grain or fruit at the top of it. Of course, we know that it is really God who gives life to the plant and causes it to grow. In the second story, Jesus compares the kingdom of God to a mustard tree that grows from a little tiny seed into a big plant. Not as big as the giant sequoia tree, but a large tree in somebody's garden with big branches that make shade and are a great place for birds to come from all over to make their nests. But, what is this kingdom of God that Jesus is talking about? It is people like us who want God to guide them and rule their lives as kings do. But through our faith in Jesus, who died on the cross for us and rose again from the dead to save us from our sins. We are happy to follow and serve a king like him because he loves us, made us, keeps us, and causes us to grow. In fact, when we listen to his words and take them to heart, he causes them to grow as we understand them, believe them, and follow them. And just like the seeds the farmer throws on the ground, he causes the kingdom of God on earth to grow and to flourish, all in keeping with God's plan and timetable for us. 
And one day, Jesus will return to this earth and, like the farmer, reap the harvest of all the seeds that have been planted. When that great day comes, all of the people of the kingdom of God, you and me and all who believe in Jesus, will rise up to be with God and to live forever with him in that wonderful place called heaven. So let's fold our hands and pray about this. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you for the gift of your word that you give us in the Bible. Please help us to understand, believe, and follow your word so that our faith can grow from a small seed to a great big tree. And dear Lord, we ask you to cause the whole kingdom of God to grow and prosper on this earth, full of believers who turn to you to guide and rule our lives every day. Until that one great day when you come and bring us all to be with you forever in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. More music. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them. And so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them. And so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, chin up. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, chin up, turn around, Father Abraham. Had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, chin up, turn around, sit down. Where's Pierre now? Can anybody tell me where's Pierre? That's right. We find Pierre helping in the garden. Where will Pierre be next week? Kids Church in the arms of Jesus. Kids Church walking with the Lord. Kids Church learning, learning more about, about Jesus. A Kids Church. Kids Church. Kids Church in the arms of Jesus. Kids Church walking with the Lord. Kids Church growing closer to Jesus. Kids Church. Kids Church. Kids Church.